Hey everyone, my name is Abdulaziz Awan from Indonesia and in this video, we will continue the previous video about Givenix tutorial series and today, we are going to talk about slider like this but before we are going to the main topic of this video I'm very grateful if you want to click the subscribe button to make this channel growing up okay, thank you so much and let's get started with my tutorial Okay, first of all, I want to say sorry for my English is not good, so if the word I use are incorrect, please help me to point out. Okay, first step is open your Java IDE. In this video, I use IntelliJ IDEA. If you are not familiar with this software, you can use like NetBeans and others. Okay, first, create new project. And then select JavaFX and JavaFX application and select next. Don't forget to give your project name. Okay, this is our project and in this project we have three main file main.java, control.java and sample.fxml. The next step is import Givenix library on your project. If you don't know how to import Givenix library, you can watch my first video, link on my video description. Okay, and the next step is open scene builder. And make sure you have installed scene builder on your JavaFX. If you don't know how to import or how to install scene builder on IntelliJ IDEA or NetBeans, you can watch my first video link on my video description just open up sample.fxml in scene builder just right click and then select open in scene builder okay this is our scene builder and I just delete this grid pane and I search anchor pane okay if you have installed Givenix on scene builder you can find custom okay and I search gfx slider Okay, and save. Try to compile. Okay, this is GFX slider, and here we can see this slider more interactive and more beautiful than JavaFX default slider. Okay, we will try another style just copy okay and we can give style class here gfx slider style And we also give the value 0 to 100 or or more maybe 200 we can save okay this is the new gfx slider with maximum value is 200 and this is gfx slider with maximum value 100 okay and the next step is i want to create style sheet here 
on sample folder new css style sheet i div name main.css and i want to connect my gfx slider with the style sheet here click on the plus button and find our css file here main.css just save and we can see here style sheet equal at main.css okay we can call our style class here our style class name is gfx slider style and we can change our color with another color okay we can change with gfx background track okay and i want to make it orange just run okay okay i'm sorry gfx default track run again i'm sorry here we can see change to the orange okay we can call with gfx default track okay and we can try another style thumb and we can change the color gfx background color i'm sorry fx background color and we can use color we want okay maybe here this color and try to run okay our thumb on slider is changed to the blue color so we just need to call this okay and we can make it bigger than before gf fx pref hake oh i'm sorry okay five pixel and f8 brief wake five pixel two okay run again okay here smaller okay we can change our track with another color we just need to call our style class and then dot track and we can change the color with fx background color and maybe we want to change to the blue okay and we we can make it bigger than before with like the be before f8 pref hack set to 5 pixel and f8 pref width 5 pixel and try to compile okay look like this okay 
I'm sorry. This is not the track, but okay. We can change here GFX default thumb. I want to make it blue. Okay, and now our thumb changes to the blue color. So we just need to remember the right side is track and the left is thumb okay okay and we can change our slider value with another color okay gfx slider style dot animated animated thumb and then fx background color thanks to the maybe this color and try to compile again okay our thumb thanks to the orange and this is the default the default color is green and we can we can set the position of indicator maybe like this Okay, I'm sorry. We can okay without asterisk. I'm sorry. Okay. Thanks to the bottom, and the default is on the top. But here, we just need to set it to right. I don't know whether we can set it to the bottom. We can try. No, we can make it on the bottom with right code okay and we can make orientation to the vertical or horizontal okay here on the scene builder we can set it vertical look like this so gfx indicator position why this is set to right because when we set it vertical we want to make it on the right so we we change this to the right why is bottom code cannot set on gfx indicator position okay and we also disable Disable here. Okay. We can tap on the slider because the slider is disabled. And we also can set the opacity. And I think enough about style in this gfx slider okay i think enough tutorial today if you have any question or comment write it down on the comment field thank you so much and see you again on the next video